We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the New York Giants. The longtime Panther Graham Gano has us set for a start as we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. First play, and Purdy wants to throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Looking deep for Jennings. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. Through the middle of the field, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Jones try to find Barkley on the out route and he's got it 17 yards with a giant first down nice little nifty play for him there that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily and I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover hey we got everybody cut oh he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there what do we love to say get those backs into space right and they were able to do that there nice pickup on first down here we go up we go well now they'll try the end around and a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. But that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. And some oohs and ahs from the crowd as he jukes his way forward for a couple of yards. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Jet. Second down and eight. Now a turn and a give to Barkley. And he will take it all in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Giants use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Yeah. 
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And incomplete on the deep ball. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on 4th and 11. On 4th down, here's Purdy. That's to his running back, complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. And they convert in style right there. A big play on fourth and long. Now Purdy. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And got his man, complete. He's on his way. George Kittle, touchdown, 49ers. George Kittle. 76 yards. And the Niners are an extra point away from evening this one up. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got him, took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And some room to work. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 42 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. But well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. A handoff as they run the counter play. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. It's Barkley on the counter to the 36 yard line. Stop there. Trey Greenlaw in there on the tackle. 7-7, our score after one. F18, Line of F18. scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Again, it's Barkley. And maybe a little over-pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 
10 yards, good for a giant first down. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for triple option, you've actually called that play. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants have taken the lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point try good by Gano. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. See Purdy, he's going to shift him around. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Shotgun now with Purdy. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down another zone defense it looks like it's open for possibilities but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten now they'll change things around before the snap throwing on second down it's Purdy and that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Purdy on fourth down. Winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And it's knocked away and incomplete. What a real head scratcher there. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger gain? Second and ten. Throwing Jones. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 of the first down. Throwing on first.
first down. Jones. Back to the same target. Campbell. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A first down carry for Barkley. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Talanoa Hufanga in on the stop. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. 105 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. They give it off here to the tight end. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the two now, second and goal. Barkley. Will score. Touchdown, New York. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Gano the extra point. And it's now 21-7. to Touchdown here to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Second and 11. Birdie off the play fake. Rush coming in. He's taken down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Field for Kittle. And this one is incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. 
And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. They'll go to Barkley again. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take off blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. 121 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Jones looking to change the play. Barkley inside handoff. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Okay, here we go. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and one. Hey, why shit, back? Back. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up go. incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Go, 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 go. Don Capers, Don Capers, Don Capers, Don Capers. Looking to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. He's got room to roam. And finally down at the nine-yard line. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Another try for Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. Touchdown run. And the Giants take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Now on first down, it's Purdy taking a shot for Samuel. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. The throwing here, Purdy. This will be caught at Samuel. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. On first down, Purdy. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing on second and long. Purdy. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Third down. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is going to have the Niners first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. Purdy throw pulled in by Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Let's go. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Purdy looking to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Purdy now to throw. Touchdown! Juwan Jennings from four yards out. And the 49ers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. The so fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. 
And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here we go. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives, and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say <laughs> run the football. You've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Operating from the gun, Jones. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Now look out. He's to the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, 92 yards. And the Giants have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Gano the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. But probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right number. And looking for Kittle, but it's intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. He's on his way. Well, we...